Hello, welcome to the next video for the Metricon Data Broker 2.0 How To Guide. My name is Alexander Hein, and our today's module is How do I map data in MDB? In this video, I will demonstrate you step by step on how to do that in my demo environment. As always, the first step is to start and connect the Metricon OPC UA Explorer to the data broker. Once connected, please go to the data modeling configuration menu and click on the data mapping tab. So here you see the data mapping dashboard. Of course, there are no mappings listed yet, and we need to create the first mapping first. To do so, please select the data mapping radio button. And here is the configuration GUI for the mapping. On the left side, you see the source area we can, where we can select the source node. On the right side, this is the destination area where we can specify the destination node. In this example, we are going to take a node from a simulated data source and map it to a node which we created in a previous video where we demonstrate on how to create instances of objects. And we are going to take the string node here. On the destination side, We have to find an also a similar data type node, and this will be the namespace array. Before doing the mapping, I just want to show you that the um, namespace array node isn't changing at the moment and is simply empty. But after the mapping, we will see this value representing the value of the of the source node. So now, in order to map both nodes, we have to select them, highlight, and click on map in order to add them to the mapping queue. So once the mapping queue is completed, we can commit the queue in order to establish the mapping. Done. So when going back to the dashboard, we can now see the both nodes being mapped to each other. So this is pretty much it. If we want to check if the destination node is now being populated with the value from the source node, yeah, we can see now the value of our destination node start to be changing because it's now constantly being overwritten by the values from the source node. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much and goodbye.